Alright guys, I want to welcome you to our March Madness Nuts Challenge. First time we've ever done this challenge, it'll be a lot of fun. This is a single elimination tournament. I'm going to walk you guys through with our, our matchups and then go through kind of the details of how this works so you guys can understand how to, to go through this process. So, our March Madness bracket is set up here. We're also going to put a picture of it on Facebook. We're going to keep it updated on Facebook as well. You guys should have received an email about your challenge setup. If you haven't received that yet, You'll either get one here soon or just go ahead and email us too and we can go ahead and make sure that you have been set up in, in the process for that. Our March Madness MEP Challenge is a single limitation tournament, which means that once you get knocked out, you're completely out. So the way it works is the first three days, which will start this next Monday, Monday at 12 a.m. it technically starts, you're gonna go ahead and start recording your MEP. So make sure whenever you work out, you have your heart rate monitor on. The only ones that really matter are the blue zone and up. So that's blue, green, yellow, and red. Gray zone doesn't matter. So just wearing your maps, uh, your heart rate monitor around the house is not really going to do a lot. So you got to make sure that you are getting a little bit of activity in to even make it count for points. So you might show more maps than available. It's not counting all those maps. It's only counting the maps that are in those zones. So if you say after workout you got 160 maps, you might only get 100 of those. 60 of those maps might have been gray zone or under. So from here, so we have a single elimination tournament. We have randomized who you're matched up against. So all I did is put them in a randomizer app. So these matchups are completely random, have no like no purpose behind them. So don't like think we matched you purposely against somebody. It's just whatever happened, happened when we put you into the randomizer. So in these matchups, we have around one matchup, around and then round two matchups. We did have, because we had an odd number of, of 25 people, we did have to think, uh, add uh, a bye week to okay? So there's technically, people have a bye week which is technically only a three day win window. So it starts at, uh, on uh, like Monday at 12 a.m. and then you'll have all day Monday, all day Tuesday, and all day Wednesday until 8 p.m. So you gotta make sure if you're doing any workouts outside the gym and you haven't been able to upload to our thing, you go onto your app and in the workout spot, there's a little um, cloud there. Hit that little button to make sure it uploads into the thing by Wednesday at 8 p.m. if you're doing any extra workouts. So every third day will be when we're going to make sure that we close by 8 p.m. to give us time to make sure that we can update the board and get everything uh, caught up on where the points are for you. So a couple uh, things we're going to go through are, first of all, matchups. So I will put this on Facebook as well so you can see it, and I'll put it in the email that's coming to you as well so you can know exactly who your matchup is. But round one, starting Monday, this is Monday the 9th, starting at 12 a.m., Nate will be facing Ian. So what they're looking for is the most total points they can get over those three days. Then Ryan versus Lacey, Sherry Umansky versus Bill, Catalina versus Erica Wellington, Brenda versus Sam. We also have Beth versus Yvonne, Chris, not Coffin, Chris Gomez versus Katie Forsberg, Brent versus Dina, Bruce versus Tammy. So those will be happening Monday through Wednesday. We do have people that are on a bye week as well, so they're randomized into this. So Corey has a, for the first three days is by a bye week. Um, TJ, Tim, Dorothy. Lori, Hattie Drexler, and Carl. You guys all have around one buy or technically the first three day buy. But you still do need to work out during that time frame because to make this still a randomized thing, after round one, this is technically not the order that it's set up. So Nate and Ian don't automatically go, Nate or Ian don't automatically go over here to face Ryan or Lacey. What happens is the amount of points they earn week one the next round here, we will we will put them right on who they who they would have faced. So let's say Nate gets the most overall points. So Nate goes here up here, and let's say uh, Dina gets the least amount of points. So Dina Nate will be facing Dina in round one. So it'll be the highest seed versus the lowest seed starting in that second three day window. So where Corey, TJ, and Tim, those those guys aren't really in those category those spots. It's more random, I mean, they're, they're just there to kind of show that they're actually in the tournament. But what we're gonna do after, when we go in that second three-day window, what we'll do is we'll go in based on how many maps you got from week one. So these bye week people still need to get points because TJ's points will rank him in the second week. So if he gets the lowest amount of points, he doesn't work out at all in those first three days because he has a bye week, he would face the top overall seed. So he might get against somebody. So you wanna actually get enough points to get you a good ranking in the second round. 
And then when you get in that second round of it, then we'll move, then you guys face off again and guess each other for three days. So that's gonna be Thursday at 12 a.m. through Thursday, Friday, Saturday at 8 p.m. Okay, so you have that Saturday one. Now to move on to round two, or move on to that third round there. Again, when we get to that round, we're gonna pick whoever had the most amount of MEPs in this round. They will be the top seed, and then we'll come down and then they'll face the lowest seed in this round of people. So that you're getting, getting that benefit of putting in the most MEPs during a round, and we'll keep going through that process until we end up having the last one is only a two day window. So it'll be Saturday and Sunday of the 21st, 22nd weekend. Those two will face off against each other. So hopefully those guys are willing to put in some Saturday and Sunday work to see who the winner is. Um, these will be tracked in the MyZone tracker, so you gotta make sure that you are updating, uh, that you have accepted the challenge inside of there. So you'll get an email say is accept, and that's all you do is just accept it. You don't have to register your belt, it'll say register your belt, but you actually just have to accept it. So accept it and put you into the challenge. Um, I don't think there's anything else specific that I can think of that you need to know for the MEPS challenge. The main thing is show up and do your work inside your three-day window. Email us if you have any questions about this. Let's go ahead and burn some maps.